Hey, what's up guys? Manshed here, and today we're looking at something that's become bigger and bigger, really just a big deal every single year, and that's fully autonomous lawn care. Now, what we're looking at today is the Air Seekers Tron Mulching Robotic Lawn Mower, and it's aiming to be the smartest, safest, and cleanest cut robot mower you can buy right now. So let's cut into this video and figure out why the Air Seekers Tron is such a big deal. got the air seeker tron over there this is going to be zone one up here and then i've also got zone two and even a zone three over here so this can handle multiple zones and have some no-go zones like here and this grass is definitely ready for cutting got the winter rye in here now and it's a decent length ready to be cut and mulched and then refertilized back into the ground so excited to see how the tron does on this grass all right so first things first here we're going to create our map so we're coming here start the undocking process Okay, and now that we're undocked, we can start mapping. And there we go. Very agile in its movements. Definitely need to stay close up to it. Let's see if we can get it to go through here and can, that's nice. We don't want sharp corners. You're just giving it basically a perimeter, which to mow, give it a general idea. And we wanna make a full circle. So we're gonna come clear around and back to our start. We'll stop that, save it synchronizing and now we have the map set up so we can go into the device and we have our mapped out area there we can come in here to the map motor settings map management if we go motor setting we can change our grass height from nine millimeters all the way down to 30 millimeters so i can go with 40 millimeters to start we can change the angle at which we want to cut i think that this area would look cool cut like that actually like that and then priority is one setting all right select that and now we can click on start now right out of the box tron makes a solid first impression you get the mower itself the docking station and the charging brick well the charging docking brick and the quick start guide no tools needed which is absolutely great because the whole setup is basically place the dock power it up drop the mower on it and tap through the quick start interface. The first things you'll notice are the flow cut dual blade mulching chamber and these 360 degree air vision sensors up in the front. And you will see that these are doing a lot of work later in this review. Also, the whole body is IPX6 water resistant, meaning cleaning it is literally as easy as grabbing a hose and rinsing it down after a week of mowing. No panels to remove, no complicated tear down. Just spray it down and your robot lawnmower is clean and ready to go again. I love the water resistant capabilities of this. All right, let's get into the actual performance though. The Air Seekers Tron is built around these three primary selling points, starting with the big one. Number one, fine mulching for a healthier lawn. The flow cut mulching chamber doesn't just cut grass, it lifts, slices, and re-slices it into ultra fine clippings. These micro clippings fall back into the soil and act like natural fertilizer for your lawn. So you get moisture retention, nutrients, 
cycling back in and no clumping of grass. And best of all, no grass bags ever. No compartments to clean out. I tested it on a few different parts of my yard and the before and after difference is pretty wild. Well, this is actually my neighbor's yard just to clarify, but they're awesome. The lawn looks cleaner, feels softer underfoot, and in my case, I actually noticed it looked greener within the first week after mowing it. Number two, rugged ride chassis for all-terrain mowing. This thing has 65 millimeters of ground clearance and surprisingly aggressive tire traction. I ran it across flat lawn sections, uneven patches, a little bit of gravel path, and brick, and even a couple of slope areas. Well, I don't really have that much slope, but I did test it out on some minor slopes and it did great. Places where other mowers I've tested just plain got stuck and I couldn't show you. Tron didn't. It floats over bumps, keeps a straight line on slopes, and corrects itself instantly if it detects slipping. Now, number three, three, we got three, number three, 360 degree air vision panoramic navigation. And this is actually one of its best features. Tron constantly scans the entire area around it, not just forward and in front of it. So when my dog walked by or there were toys or chairs on the grass, the mower avoided everything cleanly without nudging or bumping anything. This is easily one of the safest autonomous robot lawnmower system I've seen on the consumer market today. This thing is so quiet. Probably one of the quietest robot lawnmowers I've ever tested. You can really see how good the cutting is. It's perfectly matched. You can raise and lower it to really suit your grass cutting height needs. Razor sharp on its lines with those very uniquely shaped wheels to be able to turn precisely. And the obstacle avoidance really does a good job because it's got so many great cameras, high resolution cameras on the back, the side, and of course those two on the front there. To avoid interfering with my work. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Please proceed. Look at there. Clearly I'm getting a little intrusive, but you know, trying to get you guys up close and personal with the Tron. But we better let it do its thing in peace. It's got a lot of work ahead of it. Let's see how it does. Now add the extra features that I'll list here now. Rain Sense, which stops mowing instantly when it detects rain. Auto Dock, returns home automatically when the battery gets low. Both of these worked exactly as expected in my testing, by the way. I even simulated light rain with the hose and watched the mower instantly return to the dock. So yeah, we don't get much rain here in Tucson, Arizona, but I had to test it that way. So because Tron mulches so finely, cleanup is basically non-existent. No clumps, no bags, no piles of grass anywhere on the lawn, just pristine grass. For maintenance, here's the part that I absolutely love though. The entire body is hose cleanable thanks to that IPX6 rating. Just tilt it, rinse the underside, rinse the wheels, and you're done. Don't use any pressure washers though, just a hose will do. Now I've tested mowers where cleaning is a chore. This one, the Tron, is is not. Side fact, Tron was one of my favorite movies growing up and I had to sneak to the library to get a copy of it. So here's what's using Tron actually feels like. You set it and you forget it. Kind of like that lifetime cooker back in the day. The yard stays consistently trimmed, consistently green, and consistently even. Consistently. And because mulching returns nutrients to the soil, you're genuinely reducing your fertilizer needs over time. That'll save you money. And also, I really really appreciate how safe this felt around pets. My dog wandered right up to it and Tron recognized her instantly, slowed down and navigated around her without hesitation. If you've ever had trouble with robotic mowers on uneven terrain, this rugged ride chassis is one of the best implementations I've tested. If you want to learn more, search Air Seekers Tron or Robotic Mulching Mower on YouTube, Google, Amazon, or just click the links in the description of this video because it'll take you right there because that's where you're going to find the best offer and the most accurate information. So just click that link. Drop a comment below. What things do you want me test on the Air Seekers Tron in future videos or other autonomous lawnmowers? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.